Um, there is a problem here, isn't there? Without this level of immigration, we'd have no functioning health service. The social care section, sector would be even more of a disaster zone than it is. I mean, you can say that you're going to do all these things, but there is a cost here. Hospitality would become a wasteland. Are you saying that come what may, even if employers begin to struggle and your, pro your promise of growth gets torpedoed because nobody can find anybody to do the work, that you're going to bring down the numbers come what may? I'm not just saying this, Trevor. I'm telling you that we have a plan to make sure that this is the case. There are more than 100,000 unfilled vacancies in the NHS, which is already in crisis and already heavily reliant on hiring workers from abroad. Millions now waiting to start routine hospital treatment. Thousands dying every year on NHS waiting lists. We've got more than 150,000 vacancies across the adult social care sector in England, which is also now in crisis and again heavily reliant on hiring workers from abroad. We've got countrywide labour shortages holding back economic growth, with the economy short at least a million workers. And the insane Home Secretary's cunning plan to resolve this catastrophe is to make it even harder for people to come here to work. We have got people queuing up to come to this country to pick crops that are rotting in fields, to work in warehouses that otherwise wouldn't be operable, um, and we're not letting them in. Migration to this country is far too high and needs to come down. In the words of the Prime Minister, that's... Complete economic illiteracy. Well, no arguments from me on that one. And just listen to our insane Prime Minister addressing business leaders on this same issue. Um, we know that chronic labour shortages and weak post-Brexit trade are holding economic growth back. You heard this morning businesses are saying we need looser immigration rules and closer ties with our biggest market, the EU. Are you listening to them? I think the most pressing priority right now is tackling illegal migration. The lunatics have literally taken over the asylum. 